Hey and welcome to this quick tutorial, not the usual my tutorial, but instead going over how to add bloom to your renders. You could use a glow effect, but this method is easier on your machine and super quick and easy to set up, and in my opinion, creates a good result nonetheless. I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop on a still frame, but you can literally achieve the same effect in any compositing software. Right, so we have a render here. It's okay, but it's a little bland and there's no real oomph. Essentially what this technique is, it's clamping the white values and then applying some additional blur to get the desired effect. Create a duplicate layer, so you can use Ctrl J on the keyboard. And then just going over to the adjustments tab, just add a levels adjustment, which is my preferred choice. And then we can just squeeze these two values together until we have mainly just the bright areas we want. Cool, so then once we've got that, we can select these two layers and go to Merge Layers to merge them into one. And then you're just gonna to wanna to switch the layer to Linear Dodge Add. If we just toggle, you can now see that it's only blowing out the highlighted areas as we want. Next, it's time to add the blur, so go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and for this layer, let's just add a little bit of a blur, so probably something around 12. Okay, right, so the intensity of this effect is extreme right now, but we can dial it back in a mo. So what we're going to actually want to do is create a duplicate of this layer, so Control J, and then go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur again. And let's just set it to something like 80. Cool, and then just click OK. So now we've got this extreme effect and to resolve this, uh, just play around with the opacity until we have something a little bit more realistic. So, just gonna tweak the larger blur now. Mm. Just going to reduce this. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to create a copy. So, yeah, so if I toggle this, you can kind of see the effect going on and off. Again, this effect can be replicated in Nuke or After Effects. It's essentially just layering a bunch of blurred layers on top of each other which is a quick and easy on your machine way to get some bloom in your renders. Not necessarily accurate, but creates an appealing effect. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and can take this technique and use on your own projects and animations. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.